Warning, this video will explain depth, the concept of seven item slot using a mythical glory ranked gameplay. Important pointers are highlighted in the video and players like you who watch to the end of the video will see drastic increase in your knowledge of how to be a better player. Guaranteed. Just for the thrill of it. guys, how is everybody doing at home? This is your guy Assassin Dave and welcome to another episode of What Pros Never Tell You series featuring activating 7th item slot. What is activating 7th item slot? Well, simply speaking, this control method will grant you the ability to use the effect of 7th item with a limitation of only 6 item slots. If you are able to master this technique, you can surprise your enemy with some insane outplays and survivability. And the 6th and the 7th items that we're talking about are mainly referring to an extra Winter Trunting effect, an extra Immortality effect, or an extra Gold Rose Meteor Shield effect. So theoretically speaking, the 7th item slot can also be called 8th item slot if you have enough money in stash to spare. This control mechanism takes quite a bit of practice, so sit tight, take notes, and start practicing right away. So, in order to use only 6 item slots to buy 7 or 8 items, you need to have the following prerequisite. Number 1. Pre-game custom build setup. Basically, before the game begins, you have to set up your hero build where your starting build has the item where you want to swap out. Then, change one custom build to all rose gold meteor. Nothing but rose gold meteor, and you are all set. Number 2. Calculate where you have enough money to sell and purchase a new item all at once. From my personal experience, normally you need to have an extra 1000 gold to pull off the 7 item and extra 2000 gold to pull off the 8 item slots. Number 3. Fast Fingers Yeah, that's right, Fast Fingers is very very important. Fat fingers like mine are fine also, but just make sure they are fat and fast at the same time. After we get all the preparation ready, how do we actually pull it off? We want to make sure we have over 2000 gold, in this case we do, that means we can pull off not only 7, but maybe 8 items. So all you have to do is click on shop, and then click on defense, and make sure that your immortality is in pre-buy, right? This one is click on prioritize, that means it's a pre-buy. And then go to your custom build, go to your equipment builds, and make sure you select to the all rose gold meter. Make sure this one is active, and then all you have to do is go into team fights. If I'm in team fights, you can see right now I'm taking a lot of damage from enemy, from towers, whatever. And just when you're about to take the fatal blows, use the winter truncheon and then sell immediately, buy the immortality, and take team fight again. And when you die, come back and buy rose gold meteor. You can see it triggered right away. And have my shield, have rose gold meteor. I have a lot of survivability right away. Rose gold meteor is a personal preference. You can also change the item to queen's wings. This gives you 50% damage reduction when you come back from immortality, which will definitely help you survive if you're in those tricky situations. But again, that's his personal preference, and I also found out that Rose Gold Meteor sometimes bug you, where it doesn't trigger the passive of the item. So it's all something that's up to your grab, but most important item that you want to swap back and forth is obviously the Winter Truncheon and Immortality. This allows you to survive a lot longer in teamfights, and obviously surprise your opponents with those insane, insane outplays. In order to demonstrate this mechanic, here is a ranked gameplay where I will show you how it's done live. Let's go. Alright guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and pets, welcome back to live demonstration of Asmarada 7 item slot guide. Light. XS. Max. I'm looking for like more big words, just like Apple. Um, yeah, but I now realize, you know, it's not really necessary. Pokemon is about to become food! Now, in order to, to show the 7 item, you gotta first have enough money to buy a 7 item. Like I said, that's, that's the first prerequisite. And then I will show you how to use 6 item slots to, to have the power of 7 item, guys. The 6 item slots, but have the power of 7 item. Yeah, that's right, you're not hearing me wrong. The legal hack, I call it. You know, if you know this trick, you're gonna be much ahead compared to your peers, by the way. Much ahead. Bottom lane, bottom lane, bottom lane, bottom lane, bottom, bottom, bottom lane. Make sure I don't lose this skill crab right here. All right, let's go. Ooh, no minions. Bye 
Okay, easy kills. Good job, guys. And with this, I'm gonna go ahead and buy my Calamity Reaper, which is my uh, first core item. Dude, Asimara's voice sounds so sexy. She's just, she's too thick for me, though. Like, she's not my type. You know, I would love to, to, like, listen to that voice all day. But then when I, if I look at her, I'll be like, mm, friend material, you know, friend zone, friend zone. The enemy has slain the turtle. Yeah, friends on instantly. All right, waiting for that kick. What the? There we go. Kill number one. Let's get him to run away. It's gonna be very well. Kill number two. And running away. Nice knock up. One more skill two. He'll be dead. And. If you, you want to die, so I don't make it happen for you. One more skill two, you're dead. And let's go ahead and go for the blue. Nice. They got a turtle, but at what cost? At what? Ah! No, Halos! Halos, please! You still saving me? Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, it's Hilo slow. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. God damn, that is slow. Holy crap. Lolita, that's a big ult. That's a big ult. Looks like he wants Roger. Yeah. Make sure that I lock down that kill. There we go. You know, we gotta make it happen for our lovely Loli. You can't just let this stun go to waste. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, back away for now. Dodge some skill shots. That's good. Yeah, there's a wolf guy coming in. Use our skill one on him. Make sure we constantly take away his shield and try to run away. But I'm gonna tank some more. I can't take any more. Let's get out. Yeah. Who needs a blue buff when we can go for the kill, huh? No, he runs so fast. With the shield and the petrify with purify. Oh my goodness. There we go, nice job, child. Good, 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 good. Muster up. Lastly, I made a mistake. You know what a mistake is? A mistake is called auto attacking me, dumbass! Okay. You should never auto attack me. Don't you see I'm trying to seduce this lovely, lovely reindeer here? Oh, nice, muster up. Tower is hitting me. Tower is hitting me. We can push. We can push, we can push. Yo, no getting away this time, I think. Hey! No! No way! I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe. Okay, I guess, you know, Asmata is a mercy one. Merciful one, you know? Merciful one. He's able to let his opponent run away just because he wants to. Not because. Uh-oh. 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 Time to run towards the battlefield. I'm not there yet, guys. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Who? What the Jump into the back line. Yeah. Took the ring gear. Who cares about it? Oh my goodness. Loli's hammer damage. Maybe if they come out. What the Alright, that's one. Okay. Maybe we can find two. Alright. I need Lodi to give me a big uh, stun or something. He only stunned Hylos, I believe. Oh, good lord. Oh, we oh! Easy dubs. Got the red. Got the kill. That's how we do it. Got the red. Got the kill. Too scared. White tower always hitting me when Chow is inside a turret. Why is tower always hitting me? I don't understand. But it is always hitting me.
hardcore that game is so hard, man. Not every game you get what you want. Yeah, for example, last game we just ended too fast. So I'm gonna show you how it's done to get seven or eight items. So you can see right here, I have only six item slots. Normally, this is basically what somebody builds. I mean, if they're smart enough, eventually it will sell their jungle item for something else, right? But that's just personal preference. But how do you actually get six item slots to have eight item effects? All right, as we talk about in the tutorials, I'm gonna show you guys once again, just quickly demonstrate it. And make sure you make sure you get this build and I'll come over here. Let's say this tower, I'm in the middle of the team fight. The tower damage represents the hero damage, right? I'm about to take a killing blow. I'm instantly sell this by immortality. And then now I'm getting ready to take the next team fight, right? And now I'm dead again. I'm gonna go ahead and come back alive. And look, I just got my double shield. This is how you get six item slots, but it use the effect of set of eight items. In this case, I use Winter Truncheon passive, uh, active. I use the Immortality's, you know, passive. I use uh, Go Rose Gold Meteor passive. So that's eight item effects on six item slots. It's if you practice really good and if you have fast and fat fingers, you can pull this off pretty easily. So make sure to like, subscribe, turn the bell on since I can't record the footage. With that, I said, Dave signing off. See you guys next time in our next episode of What Pros Never Tell You series. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit.